Hey guys, Mr. Myers is here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the geometric probability distribution. So what is a geometric probability? We'll look at a couple of examples, and I'll show you how to do the, the ones that I'm doing anyway on uh, TI Inspire. So the first thing we need to know about is what we call Bernoulli trial. And a Bernoulli trial is basically um, any type of trial that has three distinct properties. There can only be two possible outcomes, so you either succeed or you fail. So you only have two uh, percentages here. And that percentage, that probability of success, you have to know what it is. So it needs to be known, and usually we denote it with a P. Um, at least I do, I say it's uh, you know P. And then um, the probability of failure, I denote with a Q, but you can also see it as one minus P in some textbooks. You also have to know that each, each trial is independent of one another. So some examples of Bernoulli trials would be like flipping a coin. You know, you only have heads or tails. So if I said what um, getting heads, you know, you only have a possible success or outcome. So the 50% you get a heads or 50% you don't get a heads. And you know what that percentage is. And each time you flip a coin, it's different. You know, it's independent of the other. Uh, maybe a, a major league baseball player hitting a ball that each time he comes up to bat, we'll call it independent. The efficient efficacy, so some, um, some you know, drug and its effectiveness. Or an NBA player shooting his free throws, which is the example that I'm gonna be using in this video. So let's uh, talk about what we have, what's called a geometric probability. Now, a geometric probability is going to be a probability distribution and the problems are gonna be Bernoulli. So they have to be a Bernoulli trial. They have to have success, failure, and only that. And then what we're looking at is we're looking at our first success to happen on our nth trial, on some trial. So the problems will say a lot like, what's the probability that the first made basket is on the fifth trial? The first success. So we're always talking about the first success. The formula for this is the probability of failure raised to the kth power times the probability of success. Basically, you're saying, I'm gonna fail this many times, then I'm finally gonna make it. We could find the expected uh, number of attempts before we get our success, and the, the expected number of attempts, which we call our mean, is gonna be one over the probability of success. Our standard deviation of those attempts is gonna be square root of Q over P. So let's go ahead and do a problem here. Um, let's suppose that Shaquille O'Neal is playing at CSU stand for a charity event, and you know, it really could happen. What's the probability that his first made free throw will happen on his third attempt? Okay, so if we did, we did some problems like this, similar problems like this, we know that his free throw percentage is 53%, because I'm telling you right now. So the probability that it makes his first one on his third attempt, this is a geometric probability. Now we've done this before, so you're, you know that it's going to be 0 0.47 times 0.47 times 0.53, right? Because he missed it, missed it, then made it. So we've done this before, but we haven't called them geometric. This is, in, in fact, geometric. If I'm using the formula, I've got the number of failures, okay? So 0.47 squared times his percent that he makes it, okay? Uh, and I'll come back and calculate that in just a second. So we've got 0.47 raised to the squared times 0.53, and that's gonna give me 0 0.117. Okay, so 0 0.117. Did I put that right or was it 0 0.2? Okay, that's right. So 11.7%. Now, let's go and do the next one. Then I'm gonna show you how to do this in the calculator. So. What is it probably that his first made free throw will be on his fifth attempt? We're gonna go and use the formula now. So his first made is on the fifth attempt. So we're gonna go 0.47 raised to the fourth, because there's four misses, and then finally he makes it. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate that one. 0.47 raised to the fourth times 0.53. Oh, there's the belt, which means I gotta get going here. 0, 2, 5. Okay, this last one, what's it? on the 20th attempt? That's 0.47 raised to the 19th times 0.53. Okay, so that's 
0.47 raised to the 19th power times 0.53 would be 3.1 times 10 to the 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7. Okay, so that's 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 6, 7. Okay, that's this, this is it right here. Okay, we're, we're pretty sure he's going to make it by his 20th shot, all right? Now, how do we do this in a calculator? We're going to use something called geometric, geometric PDF. All right, geometric PDF will allow us to do this in a calculator. Um, but, you know, these are easy, easy enough that we don't have to do that. But if we wanted to, we could do it. So we go to menu, probability, distributions, and we go down to geometric PDF. So what's our probability of success? It's 0.53. X value is how many times it takes us to make our first shot. So let's go ahead and do this one, fifth attempt. So we say five, and we say okay. And we get 0 0.0258, which is what I got right here. Okay, so that's another way to do it, geometric PDF. How many shots do we expect Shaq to make? Mu equals one over P, so one over 0.53, and we get one over 0.53 and we get 1.88 so 1.89 shots before he makes his first one that's what we expect all right okay there you guys go it's geometric probability